All right, so today we are gonna be taking on the new tech hit Extreme Z Battle event on Global. Now, usually for these videos, we like to do all 30 levels at once, but today we're only gonna be doing the last four since I feel like these videos were just getting a little bit too long and this makes a lot more sense. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. Starting with level 27, we'll just grab any of these LR Blue Boys. There you go. And this is the team that we've been using so far. It's a all out struggle team because the effective category for this event is all out struggle, right? So we got the double LR Blue Boys, the Int uh, LR Gohan, the LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, LR Bardock, LR Master Roshi, and finally the Int Future Gohan. So jumping in here, level 27, I would say so far the event has not been too bad it hasn't been like super super easy but uh we definitely haven't struggled so we'll see how these last couple of levels are but it's probably gonna be more of the same now uh usually we also like to do a race when we go through these but i'm not feeling a race today man we're gonna take it chill take it easy just uh you know go at a at a good pace, but not rushing through it like we normally do. So first super for the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, about 2.3 mil. Now he does get a lot of crits and he also gets additional supers. So um, on some turns, yo, where he gets like two additional supers and he's getting a lot of crits, he basically just solos hit by himself. Like he, he didn't do that here, but he still did about 50%. Of his HP so that's probably why this event hasn't been too bad because we got the SSB Vegeta and we also have the uh, Int LR Gohan who also does a crazy amount of damage to the hit now if you guys don't have a good all-out struggle team like this one um, I feel like a really solid super int team should be okay but I can't say for sure because obviously I haven't tried that but it's definitely worth a shot so uh, this should do it. I think the LR Blue Boys will finish off this stage, and then we got three more. I'll be honest with you guys, I came in <laughs> initially wanting to do the last five levels, because five just seems like a good number, right? But as I was doing the first, like, 20-ish levels, I was eating, I was watching some anime at the same time, and uh, I kind of just did an extra level by accident, so usually, or at least going forward, we're gonna do five levels for every new Extreme Z Battle event, but for today's video, it's gonna be four just cause uh, I messed up, basically. But yeah, anyways, let's put the... Hmm, actually, I wanna give these to the blue boys to give them a nice super. And then we can still get a super attack off with the other two LRs, although not a great one for Gohan, but it's fine. Not a big deal. And like I said before, guys, I'm really, really excited to run this tech hit because um, he's a sick unit. Like, the animations are great. Um, hit himself is a very dope character to me. Like, I really like him in the anime. It's just they did him really dirty <laughs> with this character, or with this unit, rather, right? Uh, by giving him no defense whatsoever. And uh, he really became quite outdated very quickly. So this Extreme Z Awakening was definitely highly anticipated. It was a long time coming, and uh, it's gonna be exciting to finally be able to use him for something outside of like a Dokkan event. Like he was really only good enough for Dokkan events before the Extreme Z Awakening. But now you can take him on Super Battle Road. You can take him on uh, probably Legendary Goku events. Maybe not the GT one, although. He might be okay on the GT Legendary Goku event too. Um, I haven't had a chance to test that, but I would imagine after he supers, he should have enough defense to hold his own on the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History. Basically every event in the game, maybe like not, you know, taking supers super well, right? He might still get hurt a bit, but definitely much better than before. So that's gonna be interesting. I'll probably use him on every event in the game imaginable just to see how he performs but uh i've got some high hopes now for sure because yeah man hit's a cool character he deserved better 
and now he's finally getting better. I guess until we get like a standalone LR hit, which is not happening anytime soon, right? Because we got the, uh, we got the, what do you call it, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku and hit. And since, you know, technically that is an LR with hit in it, I don't see them giving us another hit in any kind of LR form anytime soon. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I do really want to see a standalone LR hit, especially because I feel like the Super Saiyan God Goku and hit were a bit, a bit of a disappointment, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, not to say like they're a bad unit, really, because I don't think they are a bad unit. I just feel like the direction they went in with the animations <laughs> was uh, a bit of a miss. I feel like they dropped the ball on that one. Um, but I've said this a million times, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of it. It's just like, why did they have to do that, man? They could have just kept the standard animation style that they've been doing for like every new unit so far. And um, that would have been fine. But they, they tried something, you know, they, they took a risk and uh, it did not pan out. But I guess that's just how it goes sometimes, right? Sometimes you try something different, you, you try to change it up and it just doesn't land the way that you want it to, and I feel like it and Goku's animations were definitely that, but it is what it is. Um, we'll still get a standalone hit at some point in the future, I'm sure, and uh, he's going to be really good. But for now, we are still going to have a very, very good hit in the game with this Extreme Z Awakening, so... Basically, long story short, man, I'm excited to get this done. We got uh, one more level after this. He is actually hitting us quite hard the supers right they're actually doing some decent damage i can see like if you don't have a really solid team then you might actually have some trouble with this if you're bringing like uh you know non all struggle wait what's it called again all out struggle a non all out struggle team or if you're bringing like weaker units then this could definitely be kind of tough i can see that but yeah it hasn't been too bad for me <laughs> It hasn't been too bad. But that's Extreme Z Battles. At the end of the day, like, as long as you have the right units, and that's what they want, right? They want you to summon for, like, specific units so you can actually do well uh, on the, you know, new Extreme Z Battles. That's how they make their money. That's how they get you to summon. And uh, it's a little bit scummy, but at the same time, it is what it is, right? Like, it's it's a business, right? Bandai's trying to make money out here, so... I guess, uh... Yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, uh, do these guys not link? Oh, the Gohan's link. The Roshi does not link with either of them. That's unfortunate, but uh, let's give these to Gohan. Can we get a super attack for Roshi? We definitely can, not for the other Gohan though, but that's fine. He doesn't really hit that hard anyways. And uh, this is gonna do it, guys. This is level 30. Um. Ooh, Gohan, <laughs> Gohan's probably gonna take a lot of damage here. Never mind. I say I say a lot because like obviously, Intel or Gohan gets quite a quite a bit of defense after he supers. So I was like, you know, he doesn't have a lot of defense right now. But then again, we are in the effective category with uh, type advantage as well. So I guess it makes sense that we didn't take that much damage. I don't know, guys. I'm a little bit tired right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, I'm kind of delirious. Uh, I didn't sleep too well last night because there was a lot of stuff going on. I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah, I'm kind of sleep deprived. So if I'm talking nonsense right now, like I just completely messed up that rotation. We should have put the LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta in the first slot and he probably would have just finished off hit by himself. So yeah, man, uh, I'm not all here right now. I, I probably should go take a nap after this, but I'm so excited, man, to test out this hit that I'll probably go to sleep after. I do like a showcase video or something like that. Or maybe I'll just pass out after I upload this video. Whatever happens will happen. Um, <laughs> but Vegeta should get the last say here. One more additional. There we go. And that is the uh, int hit, sorry, not int, tech hit Extreme Z Battle event, guys. 
Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys found it. Did you think it was kind of difficult, or did you find it to be kind of a breeze? I mean, it's not really any harder than most of the Dokkan Fest Extreme Z battles out there. Um, I think the hardest one, you know, non-LR Extreme Z battle would definitely be the Super Saiyan 4s. That was pretty challenging, but aside from that, the rest of them are about the same. So, there you have it. Now let's give uh, some Extreme Z Awakening medals to our tech hit. Let's get him done. And then I will probably pass out, but I'll try not to, because uh, I want I want to at least see what this guy can do, you know, with the uh, Extreme Z Awakening at SA15. Yo, by the way, how annoying is it that we still have to do every single step of the Extreme Z Awakening process like this on Global? I mean, on JP, it's literally like one click, isn't it? I think it is, unless that's the second part of uh, Virgin Z. But I think I think JP players right now can literally just click like one button and do all 10 steps or five steps or is it seven steps i forgot whatever it is i think it's really easy on jp right now but i do gotta look that up because i think it might also be um an upcoming update uh either way though we need that on global right now because this is super annoying but uh there you go guys tech hit fully extremely awakened he is done he is ready to go and you guys can look forward to a uh, Extreme Z Awakening Showcase in the near future. But for now, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.